Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So before I go on any road trip, I always bring my van to my mechanic and I have him check everything out for me. And I'm gonna say about 50% of the time he says, it's good to go. The other 50% of the time he'll say, you know, this might go while you're gone. This might go while you're gone. And I don't wanna be looking for mechanics when I'm on a road trip, so I tell him fix anything. So today, this trip coming up is no exception. Um, my van is 18 years old. It runs like a dream. Uh, so I brought it to him today and he called me and said, I have some sad news for you, Lulu. Your van has reached the end of its life. And I was like, say what? <laughs> and he said, I am so grateful you did not just take this and go. The problem is that the rear axle tube, tubing, the rear axle tubing has rotted. Um, he said, look, we were standing in the back of my car. He said, look at your right wheel. It's like tipped a little bit. He said, it's just not, it's just not worth fixing at all. And of course, the other three, it's not like those three are shiny and new. They're probably on their way out too. So it's just time. It's time because of rust. And you know, I live in the Northeast and we get rust in the cars, you know? So anyway, so I was like, well, talk about plans having a detour. So my road trip will not be happening. Um, the van tour that I had scheduled with Bob Wells out in the desert, which is where I was going, will not be happening because I don't have a van to tour. <laughs> so, um, you know, I am just so grateful for the five years that I've enjoyed this van. I bought it five years ago. I paid $1,900 for it. It runs like a dream if it wasn't for the rust. And he said, I'm telling you, if you if you had taken this on your trip, especially all those miles, he said, that whole right back end would have dropped and that would have been a disaster. So I feel like I was spared. Um, I always feel like I'm spared when when something doesn't go as planned. I'm like, there's something big here. I wasn't supposed to go on this trip. <laughs> so um, what I did was I got right on the phone and I started calling around to all the places in my area looking for um, cargo van um, uh, inventory. And uh, I called one, they have nothing. I called another one, they have nothing. Uh, I called the Ford dealership that's in my area and I said, what do you have for transit, transit cargo vans? And he said, we don't have anything for the rest of the year. I said, the rest of the year, like 2023, because it's only January, nothing for the rest of the year. So I thought, okay, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be rough. I even said brand new, brand new too. Nope, nothing. So I was just deciding whether, do I want to get another minivan? Because I love the minivan. Oh, should I get something I can stand up in? That would be nice. But I don't want a big vehicle. I don't want a gas guzzler. I would love a cargo van. So then I thought, I'm going to look for Transit Connect or Promaster City or NV200s, Nissan NV200s. I called Nissan dealer, nothing. So I did find one dealership in my area and they have one Promasta City. It's a 2016 with 83,000 miles on it. So I called my mechanic and I said, can you check out a van for me tomorrow morning? So he said, yep, 10 o'clock. So I made arrangements with the dealership. They're going to let me take it. I'm going to drive down there tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock and I'm going to, they said they'll have it right out front ready for me. I'll drive it down to my mechanic. He needs it for two hours. I'm telling you, it's worth the money. 
to have it checked, anything checked out before a long road trip or before you buy something. I learned the hard way years ago. Um, for $110, he takes it. He checks everything. He checks the leaks. He checks fluids. He checks belts. Puts it on the lift and looks at the whole thing underneath. He takes it on the highway. And um, so if, if it gets his stamp of approval, I just may have a van tomorrow. <laughs> and I like that it's a minivan. It gets 29 miles to a gallon. So, um, and I, like I said, I just don't really need more room, but I will have more room because a cargo van will have more square footage area space because it doesn't have all that, that plastic, uh, you know, the sidings with the cup holders and stuff that is suitable for passengers. So this is just, will be the bare walls. And, um, so if it passes, you know, if my mechanic says that it's good, I'm most likely going to buy it. If not, I'm at square one again. And, uh, you know, I don't know when I'll find something and I'm not going to rush into anything and buy anything without having it checked out. So it could be that I might still be gone this weekend. I might leave this weekend for the trip. How cool would that be? Um, I also have my fr a friend, Bob, my friend, Bob, that helped me with the, ref uh, the, the refrigerator insulation thing. He um, said he will come over and I wanted to see how much of what I can transfer from this van into the next van. Like maybe we can move the floor into it and reuse the floor, the bed, maybe that even cabinet can be detached from that wall and put in this wall. And it will just be all bare metal walls. It will be, it won't have, it won't be pretty and, but it will get me on the road. And, um, so I'm just grateful that, um, that I have this van to look at. I'm grateful for all the years that I've had in this, my minivan. And, um, you know, it wasn't the best news, but I believe that, um, Everything happens in divine timing. And I just trust, I just trust the universe because it's such a much more pleasant way to, to live that to always feel that the universe is kind and always has my best interest in mind. So I believe that this is just part of the divine plan of um, circumstances that will lead me to um, things I'm supposed to be led to. So, uh, so, so much for my camper van. <laughs> I start a channel with this really adorable camper van and it's and it's gone to camper van heaven. Well, until tomorrow, I'll fill you in on my um journey with car shopping, uh van shopping and uh and um we'll see how it goes. And thank you for being and I'm going to take that little refrigerator in there and I'm still going to have a cooler system with ice in a in a it might not be under the floor but it's going to be it I'm going to work it I'm going to uh uh take my swivel table in there like everything that I've shown and seen it's not like that's doesn't even matter anymore that's all things that I love and enjoy we have my Berkey in there and my power station and I just have to arrange everything and um uh, it will all, I'm going to have the seat turned around and maybe I'll even be able to get a swivel because there'll be some space because it's a cargo van, but I'll have the seat turned around. And so a lot of, it'll be a lot of the same stuff because it's still a minivan, you know, in a sense. So bye for now.